Well, here we are on the third day of October, and got a new shotgun to show off here. It's a Panzer AR-12. Um, it's actually semi-automatic shotgun. It'd be really awesome if it was auto, but made in Turkey. But we went with the digital camo. It's got an adjustable cheek piece. Came with front and rear sights, a cleaning kit, and two five round mags. Happened to get it from Palmetto. Just picked it up yesterday. Pretty sweet gun. I'm gonna get everything put together and uh, I'll be shooting it tomorrow because today's the first day of archery and I'm not screwing around shooting my shotgun today. But we'll be back with it all assembled and uh, a little firing session. All right, I threw the sights on quick and pulled the magazines out of the box and made its first kill already. I used one of the magazines to kill this wasp. Good stuff, but nothing special for the sights. They're cheap plastic if they break, whatever, but man, you pull this gun up and they're there. Um, action's really nice on it. It's uh, AR style. The magazines have a cool grip on the front of them too. AR style safety, bolt release, mag release, and that's like a flash hider. The th outside of the barrel is threaded. But like I said, tomorrow we'll run some rounds through it and see how it shoots. AR 12, baby. How we doing? Coyote Soldier here. I got my new Panzer Arms AR 12 and Digicamo. Got the sights set up on it. Cheap plastic sights that came with it, but hey, they'll do. Uh, came with two five round mags. It's got an adjustable cheek piece, which is pretty nice. I seem to like it down though, with these sights on it. Eventually I'll get a holographic sight or a red dot for it, well, we'll see. Um, we're locked and loaded, we got one in. We're on safe, today we're we're shooting some two and three quarter Winchester Universal seven and a half shot, some three inch mags, some two and three quarter inch buckshot, and some two and three quarter inch slugs. I got a various bunch of targets. I got a turkey target set up first back there because this gun's made in Turkey. But first impression, I pulled it out. It's heavy. It's nice. Bring it up to my shoulder. I like the feel of it. The sights are right there. Um, Hopefully they're as reliable as everybody says and I enjoy shooting it. So here we go. Jam on the last round. Didn't even jam, it just didn't eject all the way. But hey, that's not bad for five shot or seven and a half shot. I'll pick up all my shot afterwards. We'll send another mag down and see how we're doing. Go to safe here. Mags load good. Seems pretty nice. Not a lot of recoil. It's heavy, like I said. I like it. I'll have to adjust the... Uh, sights a little bit but going hot had no problem first two rounds or first two mags through it with a seven and a half shot cycle no problem all right i'm gonna load up some other mags and see what else i can shoot just to give you an idea this i mean the up and down is off a little bit I'll adjust that but man I was pepper in the middle of that and I was shooting at 13 yards but we got some new targets set up to shoot at here blast these soda bottles all right made a small adjustment to my elevation and uh, I'm gonna shoot at my reactive site on the stump first and then I got some soda bottles I'll shoot locked and loaded going on fire
I like it. Three slugs. See where they hit. Aiming at the top target, center. I like. This thing is fucking on. Tell you what, this gun's badass. I mean, I wasn't really aiming. I was just getting there and squeezing the trigger at 13 yards with the slug. And uh, man, it peppers stuff. You can see the destruction on the ground. Soda bottles dying everywhere. There's some more about to explode. We're gonna move up a little closer. Here we go. Got a couple more targets to blast. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Lock and load. Going hot. Always take out the one at the top first. Oh, first jam. Damn. Well, it ejected. It just failed to load that one in, and that's seven and a half shot. Well, about 25 shots in, first jam. You have that, right? Some of your fun and entertainment today was brought to you by Coca-Cola and Pepsi. I don't drink soda, but you can see what I like to do with old stale soda. I got two bottles left. I figured I'd put two rounds in and uh, we'll end this today and get this gun cleaned up and go out and enjoy it some more for sure. Pretty awesome. Have a great day.